What is going on everybody? T Dub Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. Hope I really hope you're liking these uh videos. Uh if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that uh subscribe button and drop a comment here. Let me know what you think. Uh is this is your favorite team in the American or the National League East? And uh did I give them a terrible record and you think they're gonna be better? Do I not have them winning and you believe they are? Let me know. Down in the comments, let me know everything you think. Uh, if you think I'm terrible at all these, let me know. If you haven't yet, uh, I already have three videos out, so make sure to check those out. And last but not least, but guys, do you smell that? That that's baseball out there, man. That spring training is, you know, underway. We are going. Ah, uh, it's getting warmer out. Ah, uh, the love of baseball. It's almost here, guys. So with the love being out there, do not forget to go to my other uh, social networks and check them out. You can find me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, I do stream on Twitch. So if you would, go follow all of those channels and uh, make sure to sub to me on here. Leave a comment and don't forget to hit a like on this video if you do like it. So guys, the American League West has got to be one of my favorite divisions. Uh, I think uh, all of these teams in here are very good ball clubs, and I think it's going to be very exciting. One of the tightest divisions in the league. I think uh, everybody, besides obviously the Marlins at 55 and 107, uh, I think the 1 through 4 are going to be very tight, and it could change up. Uh, the 1 could be the 4, the 4 could be the 1. I don't know. It, it's going to get very interesting here in the season. Uh, but the, for the Marlins, I, they were at uh, 57 and 105 last year. This is a little bit under where they were last year. I don't know. They might be there. I don't think they're going to quite get to 60 wins. Uh, I think somewhere in the 50s is probably acceptable. I do know they uh, they have uh, some people coming up. So next couple years they might be a little bit better getting to the 60s. But right now, I just don't think it's going to uh, be possible. Uh, they didn't make too many huge, huge offseason moves. They did sign uh, Jonathan Villar. Who I think is uh, very good so that could uh, help them out a lot but I just don't think they have enough pitching or uh, bats with him to make any sort of difference in that and this like I said this is this is gonna be a very tough division so I just see the Marlins falling out of uh, of right there in the middle of that pack and uh, being the number five there so I have the Mets coming in fourth as I said this is gonna be a very tight division so I could easily see them being in the one or two spot which a lot of people do have them there uh, I just have them a little lower because I do think some of the other teams are just a tad bit better their offseason they haven't really brought in anybody uh, very exciting but uh, we're hearing Cespedes is healthy and should be back by the regular season and uh, they have a couple other people that were hurt towards the end of the last year that uh, I do believe are healthy and so I do think they'll be just as good uh, I have them at 84 and 78 they were 86 and 76 so just a little bit below that they did get hot at the very end of the year uh, it wasn't enough to make the playoffs or do any damage but uh, I do think that's why I have them a little bit lower because I don't know if they'll be hot at that same uh, same time they do have one of the best pitching duos in the league with uh, Syndergaard and DeGrom so I do like that uh, hopefully they'll be able to put up a, a lot of numbers uh, Pete Alphonse uh, was doing really good last year so hopefully he'll be able to continue that and uh, push them up but I just see him coming in fourth but I will not be surprised if they uh, do end up in like first second area I know I know the uh, World Series winners I have them in third place but really uh, 89 and 75 last year they were 93 and 69 so that's only four games winning four games less than last year and being in third place this div division is so tight uh, through everybody from fourth to first there is only a 10 or 12 game split I believe so being right there in the middle uh, three and two are very close I could see the Nats being in uh, first or second also just because of last year and their pitching. They probably have the best pitching uh, duo in the league, starting pitchers anyway. So I think that'll help them out a lot. Uh, they did lose Rendon. As far as offseason moves, that's probably uh, their only really big one is losing Rendon, uh, who did go to the Angels, so they'll have uh, one left bat there. Uh, they still, I mean, Soto out there in the outfield, he's amazing, and I expect him to be even better than last year. Uh, they got Strasburg for seven more years, so that's very good for them. 
and uh, I just I think third's a good good fit for them. They were second last year, uh, just behind the Braves, and I think uh, the Braves and Phillies will just be a little bit harder for them to beat this year. So, but like I said, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see the Mets or the Nats. Nats in uh, first or second. Uh, this division will be very tough. So most places you look, you'll see the Phillies uh, are around the third or fourth spot. I have them at the second spot. I think that Bryce Harper contract is really going to pay off this year. Uh, they might even end up getting Chris Bryant from the Cubs this year. So I really just think that they'll be a much better team than last year. And really. Uh, they were 81 and 81, so right at 500 last year. I'm at 90 and 72 this year, so just a, a, a pretty good record, and uh, just barely above the Nats, as you can see there. They did bring in uh, Didi Glorious, kind of butchered his name, and uh, Zach Wheeler on a five-year contract. So I think their pitching is going to be a little bit better this year uh, with uh, Nola and Arietta also out there. So their one, two, three is very good. And, uh, I mean, their hitting wasn't bad last year, uh, so I just expect them to be just a little bit better. But uh, I think the Braves will be number one in this division. So I got the Phillies at the probably number two spot and making a wild. So the Braves are one of the younger teams in the league, and I have them at 96 and 64, which they were at 97 and 63 last year. So right, right where they were at, uh, I, th I think they're going to be the best team in this division. Uh, they have uh, with Acuna and Albies, uh, along with uh, Freddie Freeman. They're just man. They got a lot of bats, and their pitching staff even got better this year. They signed Cole Hamels to a one-year deal. Uh, they did lose uh, Donaldson, but they brought in Ozuna. So I think Donaldson's probably the better hitter. Um, Ozuna is a very good hitter, but just not at Donaldson's level. I don't think anyway. So it'll be um, not much of a difference, but I, I do think there'll be a little lack there. But all in all, I believe they will win this division very close, so I won't be surprised if they don't. But just they have a very young and strong core, so I expect to see those guys do very well and uh, actually make it far into the playoffs.